dragons, it's me, Mrs. McKenrick, and today is Thursday, April 9th, 2020. Welcome back. I have a pretty fun project. I'm actually really excited to do it with you today. Um, pretty fun project for you. And uh, before we get started, I want to give a special shout out to Mrs. Hungerfords, third graders. I hope you guys are doing great. I miss you. Miss seeing you across the hall. Miss seeing you at your lockers. Um, and miss having you in class and art. So I hope everything's going great and I will see you soon. And hopefully, um, maybe I caught some of you on our Google Meet this week. So I hope I get a chance to see you again next week for another Google Meet. Okay. I wanna just dig into our mailbag really fast because I have some origami dogs that got submitted to me um, from some friends after the video that I posted on Tuesday with Austin. And um, just take a peek and see how we did with those origami dogs. That was a tricky one. I had some trouble with it, but that's a fun, it's just fun to try new things. So here we go, here's our mailbag. All right, everybody, so for our project for today, it is um, the almost Easter. Easter's coming up this weekend, and tomorrow is Good Friday. And if your family, oh, here comes Archie. He just can't stay away. <laughs> Are you gonna help? If your family is like ours, then you might be getting a delicious fish fry tomorrow. For Good Friday, which we will most likely be doing too. And fish fries often come in styrofoam containers. This is actually one that I saved from our pizza and chicken wing night the other night. So, you know, whatever works. But this is a project that you can use where you use a styrofoam container. So if you have one of these at home or another, um, you're just going to need styrofoam. So another place that I often use after washing really well is that like when I buy meat or um, chicken from the grocery store they usually come on a styrofoam tray and so once I get all of the meat off I'll wash it really really well with soap and warm water and you can use that for this project too. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to use a styrofoam piece of styrofoam today to do some print making. Now we've already done a little printmaking together online. We did um, the marker prints. And I I just think it's fun to, to teach you about all different types of artwork. And one type of artwork is printmaking. <clears throat> we did the marker prints. Third grade, you guys did your, um, the cherry blossom calligraph prints. Uh, where you made the flower on the styrofoam block and then we stamped them. Fifth graders, you guys did your line of cut, the block printing with the linoleum, the, those amazing, amazing works of art that I just can't wait to show everyone. Um, so printmaking is basically this. It's basically where an artist creates a plate of one type or another, which is the image that gets printed and then they apply ink or paint or something to it. And then they use paper or another material to transfer the image from the printing plate to their paper. And um, a really common type of printmaking is stamping. So if you've ever used rubber stamps and you've taken a stamp that has a raised picture on it, put it on an ink pad and then stamped it on paper, that's a form of printmaking. And there's all different kinds you can do, so many different kinds. And so the marker printing was just one. Styrofoam printing we're gonna do today, which is a type of mono printing. And um, I hope that you 
experiment with this, enjoy it. I've had some friends who did the marker printing with us a couple weeks ago, and they're still sending me some amazing things that they made with those marker prints. So keep that coming, keep trying things. And if you if there's, find something that you like, keep going with it, keep making stuff. So, all right, here we go. You're gonna need a piece of styrofoam, a piece, a couple pieces of paper. You'll need one to do a drawing on, and one, at least one to do a print on. You'll need a pair of scissors. Uh, something to do your drawing with. I'm using a Sharpie, it doesn't have to be a Sharpie, it could be a pencil, whatever. You will definitely need a pen. Not a marker, not necessarily a pencil. You don't want it to have too soft of a tip, too sharp of a tip. It's gotta be just right. So that's why I have a pen because it has a round pointed tip. You will need some tape, a sponge, and a little tray with water in it. Okay, all right. What you need to actually do first is cut your styrofoam. So using a pair of scissors and whatever size styrofoam you have is great. It does not have to be this big size like I have gonna just use a pair of scissors and you're going to try and cut it into a rectangular shape. Whatever size you can get. So, there you go. It's gonna be a little tricky. Okay, there you go. Okay, Woo. Man. So here is my styrofoam printing plate. And the reason that we did this first is that before you can do your drawing of your fish, we're actually going to trace how big your plate is because we don't want your fish drawing to be bigger than this so that when we put that on here, it won't fit. Okay, here we go. Let me put that in. All right, so I'm gonna actually start, and I think maybe just for fun, I'm gonna do it this way. You can do it whatever way you want. And I'm going to trace size of my plate so that I know exactly how big it is. Okay. All right. Now, and I'm just going to label this as the top. So, we are um, just going to do a quick fish drawing. And I think I'm going to keep this, um, let's see. I was about to say simple, but then I just had some fun ideas. So for this mono printing project, you want your, you can do whatever you want. You do not have to do some fish. This is really just for Mrs. McKenrick for fun. Um, I will tell you that the more um, lines you make, the longer this project will be. So maybe that, for some of you, that might make a difference. Here we go with our ocean theme things again. You're all like, oh great, she's back on the ocean kick. Alright, there's a little fish going that way.
So what we're doing here is we are creating a design. And this design we're actually going to transfer onto the styrofoam by tracing the lines. For my sixth graders who did your emoji cave art project, you did something very similar using the metal and the tracing paper when you embossed the metal using a pen. It's pretty much the same um, technique. And some bubbles. Okay, here we go. Now, using my scissors, I'm going to cut out my image. Move that out of the way. This is a little bit of a longer project for today. So this might be something you do today. Maybe you save it for a day, like a really yucky rainy day where you're inside for a longer period of time. So Okay, so now I'm going to get my printing plate back out. And I'm going to put that, the picture right over it. <clears throat> I'm going to carefully move my water here. And I'm going to take out my tape. And I'm just going to tape down part of, I'm going to tape the paper onto the styrofoam so that it doesn't move around. Let me just kind of find a good spot here to tape it. Put it on the back. And I'll do the bottom too. What we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be taking our pen and tracing over all of these lines. And you don't want your paper to be sliding around because if I do this fish up here and then I go to do the inside line details and my paper moves, the details aren't going to match up with the fish the way that they should. So we're going to take this. Now we're all taped on. I'm going to use that ballpoint pen and I'm going to refocus you and make sure you can see. There we go. Now I'm just going to go over all of my lines. Now what you're going to notice is you're going to push into the styrofoam. You don't want to push so hard that you go through your paper, but you want to make sure you're pushing hard enough so that you can feel the styrofoam behind the, um, what are you, what am I going to try and say, behind the paper, leaving a little mark or a carving. tracing my image the first time. So now I'm just going to carefully use my fingers to peel the tape off and take off my drawing. And what you're going to see is an indentation of my fish. Now, what I don't want to have, I don't really want to have holes poked in my styrofoam. And you can see some places because of the shadows in here, you can see some places where I pressed a little bit harder. I'm actually going to take my pen and I'm just going to go over it this time lightly and go right on the styrofoam. Right over what I already did. My um, going over it with the ballpoint pen is all finished. And it, you can see I didn't press too hard that I went through the styrofoam. I kept it really light. I will tell you my hand is cramped. And I will also say that um, it is definitely tricky to do some of these really wavy lines. So if you want to keep your 
design more simple than I did, that is totally fine. Or amp it up. That's up to you. All right, so now we are going to think about printing. And you're going to need, and I forgot to tell you this earlier, you're going to need some washable markers. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to be starting by using a color family of blues and greens. <clears throat> and I'll show you why in a second. So these are all cool colors. And my friends who are in third grade, they did their cherry blossoms. And we did analogous colors. And analogous colors, as you remember, are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So blue and yellow make green, which means that blue and green are right next to each other on the color wheel. And I'm going to use a bunch of different greens and blues in here and just take my uh, washable markers and color over different areas. Now I'm going to go right over the lines. You can um, color different areas, different colors, but I'm actually going to make this kind of like a multicolored ocean scene. And so I'm going to sort of spread all these colors out, maybe blend some together. We are not going to put any water on our printing plate. This is now where your paper and your sponge and your water come in. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to wet my paper using my sponge and water. Now, I don't want a drippy, droppy sponge. I'm just going to put some water on here and I'm going to squeeze it out so it's just damp. And now I'm going to take the sponge and I'm going to just slide it over my paper. Oops, got my, see, look at, getting fingerprints all over because I got it on my fingers. Two ways, top to bottom. Oh gosh, look at, I just spilled water all over my paper. Did not want to do that. I'm going to wipe it off. Top to bottom and side to side. Till your paper is glossy, you don't want it soaking wet, okay? It might be a little too wet. Now, I'm gonna carefully take your printing plate, carefully flip it over, try and center it on your paper. Now, very carefully, without shifting around your printing plate, you're going to give it a very nice massage. Okay. I'm rubbing the back, making sure that I'm not sliding around my printing plate. Because that would make sh my um, print go in all different directions, make it all wavy. Okay, I'm also, now I'm going to do something super fancy. I'm actually going to take my paper and my printing plate together without um, moving my printing plate. I'm going to do a nice little back flip. Okay, try not to shift things around. You can see my image coming through. Very gently, but very firmly. I'm giving the front a massage now. You can see. Okay, maybe I'll use my finger. Oh gosh, I hope I didn't just mess that all up. Grown up to help you with this. Okay, are you ready to pull our prints? Peel it up. Look at where do you think all the ink went? Boom! That's where it went. Ha! It looks great! I am surprised by myself. <laughs> okay, so here's our first print. Isn't that cool? So uh, the ink came off of, or the marker came off of the styrofoam and it transferred onto our paper. Now you can see how, look at, you can kind of see how I might have moved my paper a little bit here. 
so that the lines aren't super clear. But that's why you want to keep your styrofoam printing plate in one spot. You can also tell, can you see how the image is a reverse of what I did on my design? That's because when you flip it over, you get the opposite or mirror image. So if you were to make a printing plate with words on it, which you can absolutely do, you'd have to write backwards. Backwards letters, backwards word, everything. And then if you, when you printed it, it would look like the correct way. So now I'm gonna show you something else. Here's what you can do to further this because you can make as many of these prints as you want because now you have a stamp. So I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna put this over here to dry. Cool. All right, now I do have some marker left on here. So if I was doing um, totally different colors, maybe if I was using lighter colors, I might wipe my plate down with sponge and a paper towel just to clean it off, but then I can use it again. I'm gonna do the same thing, same process. Now, instead of all the colors on here like I just did, I'm actually going to color in certain areas, certain colors, and make a, something a little bit different. So here we go. When you do this, you actually wanna start with the lightest colors that you're going to use first and move to the darkest. So for example, if you wanted to use yellow, you might start with yellow. And if you're then gonna use like red, orange, pink, those could all happen there. Then you might go into the medium value colors like greens and blues and purples, and then head into the darker colors like brown and black. Just to consider, something to consider. I know I wanna use some yellow, so I'm gonna get started. And I'm just gonna put these now in certain places in my design. Okay, so I finished my second printing plate, this one, or I finished coloring my second time around on my printing plate, and this time I did some bright colored fish and um, a dark background. You're going to notice, here's my first one again, the colors that you print are going to be a lot more vibrant than the ones on your printing plate, so don't worry if it looks, if your colors look kind of dull before you get started. Same process. Here I am. Ready? This is a this is my favorite part. So fun. Here we go. Boom! Woo! How fun! Look at that! Oh, this is cool. And you can even see on here where some of my colors blended a little bit. Like, look at actually, look at the black. I wonder why I did that. Some parts of my black background have turned out more blue. Some have a little bit more purple in them. Maybe it's the amount of water I have in different areas. I don't know. But that's pretty cool. I hope that you have enjoyed mono printing with me using a styrofoam tray. And um, remember, you can get styrofoam all different places. It doesn't have to be from your fried egg, fish fry to go container. But um, if you do this or you do something like this or you try this technique, it doesn't have to be the same drawing. You can do any drawing on there. Send it to me. I want to see what you make. So have a great weekend. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.